the network. What kind of like networking events do you recommend attending, like to meet new people and connect with new people? Um, that's a good question. I would say anything, anything that really has to do, like anything that you think has to do, but I would say like put yourself in the spots where, um, I would say stay away. I would say stay away from like live shows and I would say focus on places where there's artists and there's people in the industry, but it's not like a concert or somewhere where it's or stay away from parties and live shows. Don't stay away from them, but don't look at those as the opportunities. Look at the opportunities as places where these, these same people, these people, these A&Rs, these people where they're going to be at. And there's no, there's no real drinking and there's no real loud music. Cause those are going to be the situations where you could really politic with these type of people. So really like, um, there was a, there was an event about two weeks ago by a brand called Tweedle where they had about five A&Rs. They had Tuma, Tuma Basa from YouTube, all of these guys just kind of on a panel speaking. Um, and you know, it was kind of this event where you show up and hear them speak. Now, mind you, an event like that, you know, these are, these are marquee people in the industry. They, they probably going to be overcrowded, but the the quality of people in this in that room other than those people who are on the panel that's what you really have to pay attention to you know what i'm saying and i think a lot of people just focus on getting next to the guy who's the head at youtube or the guy who's the head at the spotify playlist but yeah those guys are valuable and definitely try to make those relationships but also acknowledge the other 200 people in the room you know because if you put yourself in the right rooms you could you could pretty much gauge that okay nobody in this room is 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 of no value you know if you hear if you pay thirty dollars to hear these people speak you're obviously doing something somewhat productive in this industry or trying to so you know put yourself in those type now when you're at a party or you're at a show or you're at somewhere where there's a lot of drinking a lot of loud music um, that's generally just not the best time for that type of stuff you know people are people are not in their, their best state of mind. So you really want to put yourself around in those type of situations where there's an event where you could kind of gauge that, okay, if you're, if you're kind of, if you end up at this event, you're doing something somewhat productive in this industry versus a concert where there's a lot of people who, who are just there to be entertained. There's a lot of people there. So you might end up having a lot of pointless conversations with a, with a lot of invaluable people, you know? Right. Definitely. So a follow-up question to that, like, do you know, like, a website to find, like, specific events like that? Nah, it's, it's, it's not even, it's not even, um, I wouldn't even say it's a website. I would just say always follow, follow marquee people in the industry. Like, okay. a lot of people follow rappers, like, and it's like, if you're a rapper, following other rappers, I guess, is cool. But if you're trying to make it as a rapper, the other rappers are actually are not of that much value to you. It's actually right. people, you know, that, that, that aren't the rappers who are making the rappers, who are putting the rappers in front of your face for you to even know them. So those right. are the type of people, when you follow enough of those people, those people tend to post those type of events all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're not doing it, then their industry friend is doing it and they on the panel or something like that. And then there's a lot right. of events where, you know, it might just be drinks. It might just be things like that. And then once you start building organic relationships with these type of people, they'll be able to tell you about this type of stuff. And the word of mouth is, is the best source. So, um, yeah.